Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Seven Days. We are on day seven of the D10 series. Yes, I've decided to call it a D10 series since we didn't use a D20 in order to roll our character. So we are on the D10 series, our Nomad version. If you guys are interested in seeing a different version on my VODs channel every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am doing a D10 series for the Farmer slash Lumberjack because I opened up a container that had both pieces of armor as my beginning pieces of armor. So that one is a Farmer slash Lumberjack. If you're interested, last week's VOD is on that channel, so go check out that channel and give it some love if you happen to enjoy that type of content. And my name is Liz, and I will be your tour guide on this gondola o apocalypse I've got a whole bunch of crap inside my pocket, and we're just going to go sell it. The reason being is, is right after the Horde Night, we need to be able to pack up and go. So I have got everything in my pocket. Speaking of which, I have done one more... Uh, I, I guess you can say it's a Liz Labs, but I'm kind of doing it as I'm playing. I did the calculations for the engine. A full engine is worth 200. If you scrap it down, you get 30 mechanical parts, which is worth 192. So if you have a full inventory, you're not actually losing that much. If you go ahead and scrap it down, plus mechanical parts are very, very handy. But if um, you're needing engines, obviously you can't turn them back into engines. So definitely keep yourself a couple of engines back. I've got me a couple of engines back in case I have a chance to do something. But there's still plenty of vehicles in this town. So I don't feel quite so bad about selling engines right this second. We're just going to sell them and get them out of our inventory so we're ready to move on and we're going to do a quest and then we're going to do a horde night and we're going to try not to panic. If you break it, you buy it. Why was your sack on your counter? Don't do that. This is the apocalypse does not mean you get to do whatever you want to. The goal is, is to try and make sure I'm as light as possible to go to the next town, which is going to be Jen's town, which is, what, 1k away? Yeah, about 1k away. And she's going to be in the burn biome, so we'll have to get over there and get ourselves set up and going on the missions. Thankfully, the missions transfer from trader to trader is what I've been told. So we won't lose progress just because we knew we moved to another trader. So it seems like that bit of stuff has reverted back to a previous alpha, which I guess makes sense. Just going back and forth between alphas. Did I have stone? Okay, so did I get a mission? Oh no! I, I was just there. I was just there. For some reason I was thinking I already had a mission. Daggummit! Okay, you haven't restocked. Okay. I don't even know why I open the doors. I don't either, Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do I have you reverbing in my headphones? Stop your things. A tier two, a bit of cement. I don't even think I have very many lockpicks. I guess we'll just wait. Why are you scrapping? Oh, what is that? I thought you were scrapping the concrete. I was just need to lose my mind. Why? Why finger? Why now? What are you doing, dude? Stop your things. Stop. Stop it. Oh! Also, I had a comment on one of my videos. Someone was upset about how difficult the zombies had gotten. Like, when I had gone to O'Malley's Oats, there was a armored feral at the very top. Now, understand that at the very, very top, there was always going to be an armored guy up there. I don't think I've ever gone through that building and there not be a soldier in the top. The fact that he was feral was unfortunate, but understand I'm not playing on base difficulty. Base difficulty is one below what I nor what I play on. I play on Nomad or Warrior, depending on how it is, and it's the first one, so I'm playing Nomad. Plus, I have basically twice as much XP coming in, which means my character's leveling faster than you would normally level. Do not immediately judge the... Uh, the balancing of the game off of the content you see coming from YouTubers. And I say that because just because they change the game to the way that they want to play. Whenever you go into play seven days, put the settings the way you want to play them. I think I've said this before, but too many folks go in and they're like, well, if such and such content creator played on insanity, then maybe I should be able to play on insane difficulty with nightmare speeds and three day horde nights. And then you get your butt wrecked because... 
well, you shouldn't be playing on those settings. Um, honestly, the fact that anybody can play on insane difficulty and survive means that it's not balanced correctly. Insane difficulty should mean that you get your butt handed to you on a regular basis. I personally think that it should be much more difficult. So that having been said, if you are playing this and saying, hey, she's getting armored zombies and it's day two, I'm not playing on normal difficulty and I'm getting extra experience, which means some folks might think that extra experience is a good thing. You're going to level faster. Well, these zombies in world are governed by what level you are and how long it's been since you've died. So the longer I go without dying and the more levels I get, the harder the zombies are going to get. And that's intentional. So I'm actually playing on, I guess, if you were to compound the, um, the modifiers that I've put into the game, I'm playing on twice the difficulty as base game if that makes any sense. So don't judge the difficulty according to the way that you normally play. Try putting it on a normal mode with normal XP, and I keep hitting my microphone because it's in a new spot. Uh, try playing on those settings and then gauge where the zombies are at because they have been modified in higher difficulties by like 10%. So be very, very careful and try not to judge the, um, the difficulty of it by your normal settings. I honestly think that if you're playing on, norm on Nomad and Warrior and hell, if you're playing on Insane Difficulty and it's not hard to do, then they're not properly balanced. Insane Difficulty be should be near on impossible to do without dying. And the fact that people are just playing it as a normal difficulty every single day of the week as if it's relaxing means it's not balanced. In, in my humble opinion, if you're playing on those difficulties, you are wanting a mega challenge. Not just looking to play the game in its normal mode. That's, that's not how this game should be played. It's not how any game should be played. You shouldn't be playing on the hardest difficulty and breezing through it. Hello! Okay, uh, apparently my package is on the roof. Knock knock housekeeping! Ah, someone had a pet pig! No, 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 no bacon. Oh. Okay. And I have a feeling a few people are probably going to disagree with how I feel about the uh, the difficulty settings that they're like, no, we should definitely be able to play on insane difficulty. I've always been able to play on insane difficulty. If you recreationally play on insane difficulty, it's not properly balanced. It's not hard enough. Insane should be whenever you're wanting a really hard challenge, not a breezy playthrough. Even those who play on a regular basis should not be playing that as a recreation. Wait, maybe if you like hardcore, regular playthrough, warrior difficulty makes sense. Why is that dripping dude? You just hack two on me? He's going to explode. <laughs> Don't do it. Blah. Nice. And also do remember that if you are playing on these difficulties and they're not properly balanced for you, try doing, um, there are other difficulty settings. First off, you can indeed. Uh, okay, bye. Where's Leon going? That will never happen again. That's a once in a lifetime shot. Um, we're, we're gonna wait for him to get done. If you're having like, since nightmare speed, may night, nightmare difficulty, insanity night. Insanity? Difficulty? Which one is it? What's the top tier one? I don't play on that one very often. It, it, I grind up to that one. I never start a playthrough on that one. Um, because in order to play it, in my opinion, you have to have gear. So upgrading to that difficulty is fine. Starting on that difficulty is just bonkers to me. I wouldn't do it. But... If you are playing on that difficulty and you're finding it easy to play, first off, congratulations. Secondly, um, try increasing their speed early on to nightmare speed and see how easy it is. It's probably not going to be very easy. And maybe play with less loot or less XP or, you know, any number of those difficulty things. Those are also ways to augment your playthrough. Don't forget those settings also exist. And also, if you're playing on, like, Nomad, if you're used to playing on Nomad and you want to make it a little bit easier, you can slow your zombies down a little bit and, um, in this case, decrease your experience because the extra experience is actually making it harder. 
but you can make it where you don't gain experience as fast. Or you could do just the opposite and gain a lot of experience. I think it goes all the way up to 300 XP. So it depends on which way you feel like would be more difficult for you to cope with. The extra difficulty coming from the zombies or the lack of being able to invest the points. So either way is kind of difficult. 100 is usually typically pretty balanced. Me personally, I have a harder time finding items to combat the harder zombies. So that's why I usually go with the extra XP. Okay, there's one of them. What's the other one though? Okay, it's a Frank. All right. Man, the drop on this. Oh my gosh. That was not all of them. Bleh. Jeez. Conga line of doom, dude. Don't do your things. Oh, it looks like the propane is still going in here, dude. Where is your switch? Dude, I'm going to have to ask you to come over here so I can smack you about the ears right quick. Come here. Wait, are you a short dude? Oh. Now I feel bad. I was just looking him over. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Nice. Hello, housekeeping. Got my way out. Um, can I get this refrigerator out of the way? Because I have a feeling it's going to do the dumb. I think it's cool that not only did that thing set fire right there, but it blew a hole in the house, busted a pipe, and blew over the appliances. The set dressing in this place is amazing. Oh, I'm over encumbered by a whole bunch. You guys follow me out this way. I'm gonna do like a quick drop off into my vehicle Watch you bust through that door. Not that that took care of everything, but... There we go. Now I'm not over encumbered. Don't do it! Nope. 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 And he's still got a hit in! I'm calling lies! Hacks! Okay, let's go back in here. There we go. He's just out there complaining. Oh, jeez, dude. Whoa, the speed I can kick into because of that book. Holy. Hmm. Okay, I'll let you... Okay. Come in here. Ow. Liz, you have to back up. That's how that works. There we go. Alright, let's get loot. Hopefully there's some really good loot. Like a tier 2 to any of my pieces of armor. A tier 1 raider. Magazine extender mod. A home cooking. Bar brawling. I'm over encumbered again. Alright, let's see. We can drop that. We can drop that. Okay. Let's run to the traders, sell off everything that we can. I, w I really don't want to take extra loot home. The goal is to try and lighten the load as much as possible. So, yeah. Loot? How far away is that? Stop. Stop rolling! The momentum on the thing. 
you definitely have to press the brakes now, otherwise you're going to be chasing after this vehicle for five years. Okay, armored up times two, forge ahead times two, and shotguns. We got pop shot, pipe shot, pop shotguns, yes. We're just going to, you know, double barrels quality one. Um, I could probably go ahead and make a double barrel. I've got all of the stuff for it at the base, but I'll probably wait until after we get moved before I do that. Uh, I you will sell you that. What? You got a fucking crush on me or something? Yeah, you, you caught me. You caught me red-handed there, Wrecked. That's what it's been this whole time. I just find you absolutely freaking Shit, irresistible. Man, I want to pinch your cheeks. And... Yeah, I, I guess Wrecked caught me. It's just like a secret girl crush I have on him. And that's the reason why I have such a problem with him. I have to pretend I don't like him and therefore it's like hate on him a little bit type of thing. That's what it is. That's what it all is. All of us just have a crush on Wrecked and this is how we handle it. Are you back in the damn wasteland? Are you for serious? Stop doing that! Okay, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, bike. Oh my god, stop! Oh, there's a mine. Shh, I'm focused. Oh my god, are you actually in the prison? Okay, no, you're not. <sighs> I was supposed to say, I'm facing a nerd pole. Judge me if you want to. Okay, supplies. Uh, mods, a painkillers. You know what? That's kind of funny because I look for a painkiller for a long time. I gotta forge ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and read that and I'm gonna wait to check the other stuff after I get back into safe zone. There's a bear. And keep an eye out for the mines. There we go. No, 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 no. Get on the bike. Get away from this biome. Challenge. Survival short is complete. I have no idea what that is. I want to get back over here where I can definitely see whether or not a zombie is coming for me. Okay, now then, what else did we get? We got a book bundle, big hitters times two, farming times two, wiring 101, and some mods. Let me see. It's a bunker buster mod. Let's put that on here. And since it's a tier five, I can actually fit both of those on there. And I already got rid of one of the burning shaft mods. I kind of gave it back to Wrecked, obviously. And um, we don't need that one until later game. And it's usually easy to find one. So I'm just going to go and sell this one too. Let's see. Let's go check. There is a... What is this? I don't know what this is. It, it looks like some sort of shop or something like that. Let's go check in here to see if we can find some boxes of cool loot. Or some books. Sharp sticks, not really worth it. Oh, stop picking up the paper. There we go. Hello. Oh, hi, Ed. How you doing? Uh, southern farming, cat chow. I think we had a stack of raw meat, so I can take that. I'm just raid a place for all of the loot and everything, and what I'm gonna get is a meal. That's basically it. I don't need sand. I need a sneeze, is what I need. I don't think that's the only one either. Might be the only one. Nope. Hello. Don't do it. Stop it. Whoa. Are you actually done? Forge ahead. Eight glue in there, though. It's not bad. I don't need your paper. Actually, um, if I can get a little bit of cloth, I could probably turn any glue I have found into something usable. So, yeah, maybe take that. It does take a lot of cloth to make it into duct tape, though. Uh, shotguns weekly and a... which one is that? First mod. Yes. Oh. Hi, Karen. How are you? How's your stuff? How's your things? Stop your things. Oh boy. Just walking around the corner with my meat in my hand. <laughs> Little did I know that this was public, not private. Mm. 
Knock, knock. Okay. Come on out of there, dude. Or stay in there, I guess. Um. Hey! Hello? You really taught that wall a lesson. Not sure why you were trying to pass through the wall, though. Give the bookshelf, please. Armored up. Okay, now that obviously was not going to be great loot. It was never going to be great loot, but... Uh, I did find... Some glue. So, that's something. Learning elixir for tonight? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Hey! Good to see you, Frank. Glad you came by. Thank you. Stop it. Stop. Stop your things. There we go. This is like such a bad idea to be doing a horde base where all I've got like is this little bit of nothing back behind me. Like, come on, it's day one. Should be easy, right? Should be. <laughs> First horde night. Looks like they're all coming from that direction. Go ahead and drink all three of these. Nice. Well, let's hope they can actually path this way. That's a problem. That's that's what you call a problem right there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be a drop base, but sure. Oh man. Oh. Dang it. There we go. Now, what kind of path are you going to do now? Go around. Should have thought about that. I'm going to sit down there and hit things. That might be where my ladder is for them to get up here. Which means if they break that, they can still figure out how to get all the way up. It's just going to be a lot more complicated. Oh, they figured it out. Okay. Ma'am. What you doing over there? That does not look right. What are you doing? Yeah, especially with him. What are the hot two going on inside this horde base? I don't appreciate this. This is a, a family-friendly Minecraft channel. Get over here, guys. I would appreciate you guys bringing me all of my arrows back, though, to be fair. Uh oh, I think they've already broken their ladder. Where are they at? At this rate, it was a waste trying to... Oh man. Taking that learning elixir was a waste. They're gonna they're gonna cycle so fast. Ooh, jeez, my finger. Dang it. They're gonna cycle around so fast instead of coming up here that I'm not actually going to be able to kill anybody. This is not how you guys are supposed to be using my base, just so you know. She just gained an inkling of intelligence. Just for like a slight second, she had a spark of humanity left in her. Like, oh, let's take out this pole, because this is the one she's using. What are you doing, on the other hand? I should have just filled up the inside of the building with a whole bunch of spike traps or something. My loot! Jeez. <laughs> Yoink. I 
was not expecting to actually make an entire drop base. This is using up way too much ammo. And it's like they're having a conference downstairs trying to figure out exactly how to get up here. And occasionally they're coming up here with the idea of beating on my blocks. They need to stop this conference. This is no longer anonymous. I want names. Not sure what you guys are doing with that. Somebody's in there beating on something. Uh huh. I'm not sure how that helps you, Frank. What is what inside their zombie brain is going on? King structural engineer zombie. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wait here because I'm not gonna run out of this ammo right before we go to a new biome. That just seems like a dumb idea. I'm out of all of the other ammos. <laughs> what was that? If you guys actually want to walk across my path like I intended for you to. Can I do this? Like that? Can you guys figure out how to get up here like that? C come on, jump! Jump! Oh my gosh. Um. Maybe that? There you go. That was me. That was silly. Oh no. Okay. Why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I use up all of my ammo? Go around, dude. Go around. We're almost done. We're almost done! I still have five minutes on my drink. Come up here. Ow! My face! You talketh the crap, you get the smack. No, 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 no. Survived one blood moon challenge is complete. Cannot believe you guys have done this. Do not fall. Do not fall. Do not. Oh, man, get up here! I have to go. Oh, that guy bled out. Ah, oh, man. Come on, lady. Are we good? Loot! Uh, knife guy, home cooking weekly. Uh, there's one more loot on the ground. No, two, three more loots, four more loots, five even! Okay. Uh, tier 4 stone axe. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our first horde. I'm going to say it went very, very well, obviously, since we don't have a whole lot of ammo. There's not a whole lot of engaging hand-to-hand -hand combat with the zombies. So it's a little bit of just smacking them from my beautiful little tower that I created while they figure out other ways of going. But... That is typically how we spend our first ward. I will see you guys in the next one. And hopefully we can find another POI in another town where we can have our horde base and our home base in the exact same building. I will see you guys next time. You have a wonderful day and you stay shiny. Bye!